It's hitting hard with John Chuck. We're here in Locked On Sports Atlanta. Head to YouTube.com. Find Locked On Sports Atlanta in the search browser. Subscribe to our page. Leave us a comment. Free and available on all of your favorite podcast platforms to download as well, including Spotify and Odyssey. Leave us a five-star review. And, of course, follow me on my personal Twitter page at JMCH316. One name that I have seen linked to should the Braves make a run at here recently is a starting pitcher. And again, he's an Avenger, right? It's Thor, also known as Noah Syndergaard. Now, Syndergaard pitches for the Los Angeles Angels, right? He came over from the New York Mets, um, you know, was part of that group of New York Mets that they thought were going to be the next revolution of guys, right? DeGrom and Syndergaard and all those guys, right? And, you know, so far for the Angels this year, he's made 14 starts, 5-7 and seven on the year, a 4.00 ERA, 74 and a third innings pitched, 69 hits, 20 uh, walks, he's given up nine homers, 58 strikeouts. So just to give you some perspective, he is seven strikeouts per nine innings, not quite three strikeouts per walk. And, you know, his whip is pretty good. It's a 1.197. Now, Syndergaard is obviously in the final year of his contract, so he becomes a free agent at the end of the year. He's a $21 million pitcher this year. Obviously, at this point, the Braves would be picking up less than half that salary out there, right? So, you know, put it on a per per prorated per game basis or anything like that, and that'll give you an idea about where he's at out there. Is that a guy that's going to come in and help the Braves? I don't know. I mean, look at you start looking at Syndergaard's numbers. He, he's he's at his lowest strikeout per nine inning total of his entire career. Even last year, when he only made a couple starts, but even take the couple of years before that. He was nine strikeouts per nine innings and above. And then, of course, you know, his first three years when he was a top 10 Cy Young and a top five rookie of the year, right? He was up over 10 strikeouts per nine innings. So for whatever reason, and let's be honest, none of us watch Noah Syndergaard on a regular basis. Ain't nobody around here watching Angels baseball on any sort of regular basis. But whatever's going on, you know, his swing and miss stuff is going away. Um, It's also a situation where, He's given up nine homers in 74 innings. That's not the worst number in the world. But again, you talk about a guy, if if you project a guy to be on, let's say, a 250 inning pace, you know, he's mid mid to high 20s, almost early 30s, you know, as far as that goes. I I don't know. Look, here's what I think about the Braves starting rotation. I I think, and and what's going to be fascinating is, Really watch Spencer Strider coming out of the gate after the All-Star game, a few days to rest, right? Let's see what his first two or three starts look like coming out after the All-Star game. He did not have a good a good start the other day. I think it was four innings and five earned runs um, over the weekend, you know, as they were wrapping up that series against the Nats. Again, it's a hiccup and things like that. But we have talked about the amount of innings that he's pitched, where he's sort of at in his career, where he hasn't pitched very much. Obviously, he was just drafted a couple of years ago. He played with four different organizations for the Braves last year, only pitched 94 innings, right? He's close to 70 innings now. So watching his next few starts coming out of the break, and the Braves are going to start getting away from some of this 20 games in 20 days, 17 games in 17 days stretch, right? I think that the the only big stretch they have in the second half of the season, and I say second half, quote unquote, after the All-Star break, is I think they have one 13-game uh, stretch and 13-game, 13 13-day 13 period that they have to play. So there'll be some opportunity to not have to have Strider in there all the time. If you want to start to kind of bump them a little bit because you'll have some days off, it will work itself out. So he's going to be interesting to watch. Obviously, they got to get Ian Anderson because, look, Ian Anderson last year may have been their best postseason pitcher, right? And they're absolutely counting on him to be a part of all of that. Do the Braves need to bring in a Noah Syndergaard? Do they need to bring in Thor? I don't think so. That's not a name that interests me or intrigues me. And I really don't think that starting pitching, in all honesty, if we're talking about a guy to make a random start here or there, I'd rather they dip back down in their minor league system. Right. You're locked down with Freed. You're locked down with Wright. You're locked down with Morton. You're going to give Strider and Ian Anderson all the rope in the world to do what they have to do. Right. So, you know, again, I'm not super excited about the idea of this. We'll talk more about it in just a second. But I want to tell you about my friends 
over at Coffee AM, coffeeam.com. You know how passionate I am about the, these folks. Unbelievable company, best small batch coffee brewer in America, located right here in Georgia, up in the Canton area. They're an online coffee company. Coffeeam.com is the website. Check out their full range of coffees, teas, gift sets. You like organic coffees, you like flavored coffees. Everything that you want is available at coffeeam.com. I always talk about, I got that care package that they sent me. Open that bad boy up, and I'm telling you, just the aroma alone, you could use that as a fragrance scent, right? I mean, it's so good. The coffee smells so, so good from coffeeam.com. But we've got a special deal going right now for our Locked On Sports Atlanta listeners. If you head to coffeeam.com, coffeeam.com, backslash locked on go there today and take a look at the full menu of coffees teas gift sets they got a wide range of products and gift ideas that you have available to you coffeeam.com backslash locked on is where you want to go when you get to checkout i want you to use the coupon code locked on l-o-c-k-e-d-o-n that's l-o-c-k-e-d-o-n use locked on at checkout and get 15 percent off your first order of whatever coffees teas gift sets Whatever your package that you're putting together is, 15% off that first order simply by using Locked On at checkout, L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N. Coffeeam.com backslash Locked On. Use that coupon code, excuse me, Locked On at checkout, and you'll get 15% off. Best small batch coffee brewer in America, located right here in Georgia. Love those folks out there. So, look, I don't think the Braves need to necessarily – invest themselves in another starting pitcher i would much rather they dip down in their minor league system and find somebody there tucker davidson bryce whatever you know if you want to give a noah another shot especially given the fact that we feel like we have five guys who are pretty well set in the rotation i just don't think that Syndergaard is a guy that i need to bring in and i don't know what value that he brings at this point he doesn't strike out a lot of guys he didn't get a ton of guys out he's given up plenty of runs Right. And I don't know enough about the ballpark in California. And I call them the California Angels. Sorry, I'm not changing my tune on that. California Angels. I don't know what their ballpark is like. I don't know how much of a band box is. I know a ton, a, a Tani hits a thousand homers there and Trout hits a thousand homers there. So if you're putting them in a ballpark that certainly is hitter friendly, and I think Truist Park is a hitter friendly ballpark, it may not be the band box that some of these other stadiums are, but I think it's a hitter friendly ballpark. Put him in a, in a stadium like that, I don't know how much value you get. Left-handed hitters will probably eat him up in, in that stadium. So I've seen his name linked a bunch to the Braves. I get the idea. You roll the dice, right? You don't have a ton invested. He's on a final year of a contract. You have nothing in it. And again, at this point, you know, after they traded Pache and Waters and everybody else, I'm not concerned about prospects, right? We're in win-now mode. I just don't know that Syndergaard is what we need. I think more than anything, I think it's watching Strider coming out uh, of the All-Star game and what he looks like. I think it's getting Ian Anderson consistent and getting him back on track and especially, you know, kind of building back up to getting him ready for postseason baseball. And again, if I need a start here and a start there for a guy or whatever like that, because I don't think they're sitting any of their five starters, even if I have to rest Strider or something like that, I'd much rather let me try out Tucker Davidson. Let me try out Bryce Elder. Let me try out Uskar Noah. Let me try out one of those guys. Let me give one of those guys another go around. I don't think they could be any necessarily worse or better. And I don't know that Syndergaard is a guy that you're ready to catch lightning in a bottle. I just don't look at him and think that he's the same pitcher anymore. So listen, you may be a fan of the Avengers and things like that, but probably looking for you know more bullpen help than, than starter help. So I'm going to say pass on Noah Syndergaard. All right, we thank you so much for making Hitting Hard with John Chuckery your first listen every day. Make our friends over at ATL Day Ones your second listen every day. My friends Jarvis Davis and Tanitra Batiste talking about all things in the heart of the city of Atlanta, covering dogs, Falcons, Braves, Hawks, whatever you want, all kinds of topics around the Atlanta sports scene. Free and available on our YouTube page at Locked On Sports Atlanta. Free and available on all your favorite podcast platforms, including Spotify and Odyssey. And as always, I ask you to give me a follow on my personal Twitter page at JMCH316. Be at SEC Media Days. Be looking out on YouTube.com for some videos a little bit later on today. This has been Hitting Hard with John Chuckery on Locked On Sports Atlanta.